And welcome into week two of Friday Night Blitz here on Fox Carolina. Hey there, I'm Aaron Cheslock. We'll begin as we always do with tonight's Game of the Week, sponsored by Toyota of Greer. Dorman taking on Gaffney in a battle of two top five teams. And while it's a non-region contest, the Indians looking for revenge after losing to the Cavaliers last year in the 5A Upper State Final. Of course, we're talking about Game of the Week. We're talking about our own Amanda Keene joining us live from the sidelines. And Amanda, another gem between these two great teams. Aaron, let me tell you, right now it looks a little quiet, but about seven minutes ago, this place was absolutely bananas. These two teams fought it out until the bitter end. There was like three to four different score changes in the last six minutes of the game. It was impossible to even keep up with. Both sides were going absolutely crazy, but in the end, there could only be one winner. Gaffney, the home team, hosting Dorman and getting ready for some Friday night action. Now in the first quarter, it's Gaffney ball at their own 10. Andre Lindsay fires one to his right, and it's Dorman Zion Lindsay who picks it off. He goes to the house. It's 6 nothing. Dorman, they're on the board first. After the kick, it's 7 to nothing. Still in the first quarter, 2.20 left. Gaffney with the ball at the 20. Lindsay fires one over the top to Natron Johnson. The kick is good. The score is going to be all even at 7. Seven. The Gaffney defense really making it hard for Dorman to get anything going here in the second quarter. This is a huge chase down by Javari Bonner. It's a big loss, and eventually the Cavs have to punt it away. Both teams really just can't get anything going to end the first half, but things certainly heat up in the second half and it really started getting heating up in the second half. I mean, Coach, this was a wild ending to the game. You got down, you got up, you held the lead. How do you feel right now? Well, exhausted, to be honest with you, but, uh, you know, I'm just tickled to death for our players and our fans, and, you know, where else in the uh, state of South Carolina could you have gone tonight and watched this kind of football game? And, and not only the effort and uh, just a no quit on both sides, you know, it, it took a bad snap and a missed field goal to come up with the victory, but, you know, there were mistakes made on both sides throughout the game, but one thing that you did notice, it was kids competing and playing hard the whole time. How did you keep everyone level-headed? I mean, the adrenaline for everyone on the sidelines was going up and down. How do you keep everyone focused until the very last second? Well, were you looking at the sideline? <laughs> yeah. We weren't focused, and everybody was going crazy. Anytime they'd make a play, they act like that was the last play, and there's still six minutes to go in the game, so I'm getting on them there. But, you know, that's just part of the emotion. If the emotion isn't there, then you got a, probably got a sorry football team. But we got to corral it sometime and let them know that, hey, there's still time on the clock, guys. you got to keep playing. And I know you got to go, but the reservation, it was at limited capacity, but this place was rocking. What was it like for you guys on the field to hear them? Oh, it's it's super, and that's that's one thing that, you know, we miss with this COVID is home field advantage, but I feel like we still had it tonight. But can you imagine what that, that game would have been like if those stands over there were full and those were full? It would have been unreal. Would have needed earplugs. Coach, thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way. We appreciate it. And we're going to send it back inside to Aaron with some more Friday Night Blitz highlights. Aaron?